Some time back, um, I was asked, what do I cook um, whilst I'm on my own, living in a caravan uh, and working as a campsite warden? So last year, my diet varied and it wasn't perhaps uh, was as good as it could have been. I ended up getting gout and lived on a lot of microwave meals. And this year, I have been trying to make an effort to eat a lot more uh, healthier and fresh. So, um, in the past, I've had uh, one ring induction hob, a halogen induction hob um, that I've used. Um, here's a link up here. Let's go and have a look at the review I did of it. And this year, we've had one of these. This is um, a Silvercrest double induction hob. And this is from um, Lidl. About 50, 55 quid, I think it is. Um, this side is uh, 1.8 kilowatts. This side is a 1 kilowatt, um, as you can see on it. And you've got various functions on here, power buttons, you can simmer things, you can put it onto programs or temperature controls. And the reason I've gone for a double one is this year I've done things like um, a spag bowl. So I've had one side doing the um, spaghetti bolognese, another pan with pasta. And I've also had uh, another one where I've been cooking meats in a say, frying pan and uh, boiling up, say, vegetables. I might do another one of these. I've got some steak in the fridge, so I might do a, a nice one with the steak. So tonight, I'm actually going to do uh, one of these sort of pre-packaged um, Chinese-style stir-fries. And I have got some manorated, 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 you know what I mean, um, chicken here. And I have got a Chinese style sauce. And I've got, uh, I just chopped up them mushrooms, some mixed uh, vegetables in here. And um, yeah, just thought I'd show how easy it is to actually cook a meal in literally less than 15 minutes and all fresh as well. Okay, so it's an induction hob, so you'll need to make sure you've got induction pans. So I've got um, a couple of quite deep uh, frying pans, sort of almost mini wok, isn't it? And I've also got induction normal um, pans, normal pa uh, indu normal pans, induction pans uh, for boiling things. So induction pans are needed. You can get a, a magnetic metal plate on here. So here we go. So first thing I'm going to do, as I say, I'm cooking on this side. I'm only using the rock, the one uh, ring power on. So as I say, you've got program or temperatures. So I'm just going to go on to the temperature here and I'm going to ramp that up. Uh, to about uh, 220 and you possibly can't hear but straight away these things heat up right so as I say uh, non-stick frying pan um, I'm only going to use some of this uh, spray oil but it doesn't really matter too much and I'm going to cook the chicken and stir fry it for about eight minutes so um Put on my watch. One at a time. Uh, and let's just go. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm going to keep this um, stir frying up now for eight minutes. A bit of a bit of soy sauce here for later. So the great thing with the um, these induction pans is, say, the the heat is almost like cutting on gas, uh, where you can increase the heat and decrease it straight away. Right, I won't bore you for eight minutes while this is cooking, but I will come back a little bit nearer the time. Coming along nicely. So, how are we? Oh, the timer on. Lost it. Three minutes, uh, three and a half minutes to go. Right, so checking the watch, got about 14 seconds to go. Then um, in will go the vegetables. We'll stir fry that together for five minutes. Um, There we go, time up there, turn that one off, let's set another timer for five minutes. There we go, to top, and in goes then.
smells delicious. So I'm going to stir fry this for five and then in goes the sauce for a couple of minutes. And then this is quite a meaty large portion. What I've also sometimes been doing is um, doing some um, microwave rice with these yeah, things so as well. If, um, if you're making this a bit more substantial, you can get these uh, packets. These are just literally microwavable in two minutes. Tear them open um, alongside the dish. Or what I have actually done is after microwave this, I have added it to the actual stir fry itself. And that will feed me for um, a good couple of nights. Right, how are we doing here? Looking good. So this year um, I've got the stuff out here in the awning. That's it, come on. And I've got um, neighbour saying hello there. There we are, look at that. So I say, um, just keep the frying pan on the induction, keep it flat, draw the heat and keep steering with it. Right, so, I say, keep it going. And you saw me, um, as I say, I didn't use any oil or anything, I just used one of these um, low fat sprays, um, it sort of works. Nothing, nothing stuck down. Um, and now, there we are, that's that one up. So, Let's put the stopwatch on now for another two minutes and pour on sauce. Yeah, that marinated that into there. Whoopsie daisy, a bit silly, wasn't it? I'm going to put a bit of extra soy sauce in into there as well. Oh, don't you, well, I wish you could smell this because this smells gorgeous. Time up on that one, ready to serve up. So um, yeah, obviously once you lift the frying pan off here, the heat stops straight away. And I don't know if you can see the message there going, there's nothing on it. So turning the power off now, <coughs> the little H light is telling you that the hot plate halogen is still hot. So I'm gonna decant that now into a bowl. Right, so that's uh, up close in the pan. And say decant into the bowl now. And there we are. How's that looking? Um, so I would often sit outside tonight. It's a little bit grey. We have got some blue sky. It has cheered up a little bit. Um, let's just go inside and have a quick taster of what we're going to have for my tea tonight. Oh wait! Right. Oh my little uh, my little perch. Um, nice and fresh and. Uh, hmm. Delicious.
All right, let me go and devour this. And um, there you go. What can you cook in a caravan? Quick and simple in 15 minutes, that's fresh. Campsite warden after a hard day's work. Look at that. Anything like that, and you find it useful. Give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, that'd be amazing. And you can subscribe to my channel down below if you want to. Hit the notification bell uh, when I uh, upload a, uh, you'll get a notification when I upload a video. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching that, being part of it. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.